Are you stuck here or maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower in your front sweep position but it seems like you can't touch the floor with your hips and with your legs like this, all right? If you give me five minutes, I'm gonna show you the best exercises you can do to work on your hips and legs flexibility in order to achieve a beautiful front split, all right? The flexibility guy, Coach Alia. So, the first thing you need is a wall. I'm gonna show you this exercise here with a chair, but let's assume this is a wall, all right? Now you want to put one yoga block next to the wall and you want to walk on your quadricep and on your hip flexors. So in a front split, you got one leg back, one leg in front of you. On your back leg, you're going to walk on your hip flexors and that is the most important leg. And in your front leg, you're gonna walk on your hip extensors, your hamstrings and your glutes mostly. Now, what you do want to do here is this. Knee on the floor, foot against the wall. Now you can grab a stick, put it in front of you and slowly, really slowly, raise your trunk up. Now, you want to posterior tilt, so you want to keep your back flat, as flat as possible, and gently raise your trunk up until you can almost touch the wall with your shoulders, keeping a flat back, all right? So this is really important. And this is the first exercise for your quadricep muscle this muscle you got here. But you got another muscle, which is called the iliopsoas, which is another hip flexor. And to stretch the iliopsoas, the technique changes a little. So rather than going up with your hips, so as you can see, now I'm moving my hips up, I actually want to move my hips down. So from this position, I take a lunge with my front foot, like this, and I go down with my hips. Can you see what I'm doing? So rather than going here, I do want to go here. Now, one hand on top of your front knee and push your hips down. If this feels comfortable, then you can use a weight, all right? So you grab the weight with the other hand and you let the weight pull your hips further into the stretch. Now, the main idea is always the same. You do want to drive your hips strongly down, all right? So this way, this way, down. Use the weight to do that. As you do th this, all right, you want to remember one thing. You don't wanna fold your trunk forward. You do want to press your shoulders back, keep your chest in, keep your abs in as much as possible. Use the weight, but go down with your hips and back with your shoulders. Can you see these two movements happening here? All right, so down with the hips, back with the shoulders, and this is how you want to perform this beautiful hip flexors stretch, all right? So against the wall, you can use these two exercises to work on your hip flexors flexibility, your quads and your iliopsoas. What about the front leg now? For the front leg, you want to use a stretch called the one leg standing pie. What you do want to do is really simple. Now you want to pull one leg here, you take a lunge with the other leg. You can use a couple of yoga blocks here under your, under your hands. Now, at first, the first variation you do want to use is this. Bend your front leg like this until your chest enters in contact with your front knee. Now, you want to stop here. One hand on the floor. The other hand goes under the knee like this. And from here, you want to straighten your front leg. Can you see? But I'm not really straightening it fully, all right? What I'm doing is this. I'm gonna keep the contact between the chest and the knee, and I'm gonna straighten the leg as much as I can until I can feel the stretch right over here under my front leg. That, that's where I want to feel the stretch, all right? So push your head in front of you to straighten your back fully, and this is going to pull your hip extensors, so the, the muscles of your front leg, all right? And you straighten the leg as much as possible. Now, you can keep it bent, all right? This is the first variation. Now, when this feels comfortable, you can also try the second variation, the straight leg variation for a full hamstring stretch. Can you see the difference? Now I have my leg bent. Now I have my leg straight, fully straight, my front leg straight. From this position, you want to arch your back. So, can you see the difference here? I'm not curving, I'm extending the back. I'm not curving, 
I'm extending the back. I'm pushing my head in front of me and I'm constantly keeping this leg straight. Maybe you want to squeeze your quad, the muscle you got here, to keep it even straighter, all right, at all times. Now you can use the yoga blocks under your hands to adjust the intensity of the stretch. Here, you want to leave your ego out of the door, all right? So go wherever you feel the stretch. As you get better and better, you can move the blocks down. And the more, the closer you get to the floor, the harder, the harder the stretch, all right? Can you see? So this is how you want to stretch your hamstrings with the one leg standing pike. A really, really, really good exercise for your hamstrings. As you can see, these exercises here are going to work on one leg per, per time, all right? So you're gonna be understanding also if you got one leg stiffer than the other, and this is great for your progress and to make flexibility gains. Now, one last exercise I do want to show you before we get into the front split, and this is the buttock stretch. This is an excellent exercise you can use to work both on your front leg and your back leg flexibility. Both are essential, of course, to achieve a front split, but remember, your back leg is the most important one. So now what you do want to do is this. You want to start in a lunge position, one yoga block under one hand, one yoga block under the other hand. And now you want to start in a lunge. So as you can see, front shin bone perpendicular to the floor, back leg straight. At this point, hips down, hips down. Can you see? I'm moving my hips down and I'm flexing my back toe. Can you see? Back toe flexed. Now from this position here, don't fold your trunk forward. Keep your trunk back and your hips pushed down. Adjust the height of the yoga blocks. From this position here, what I want to do is this. I want to keep pushing my hips down and press my heel, my back heel back. It's all about pressing the heel back. I'm not really extending the leg. The, the extension of the leg, of course, I'm extending a little, but it's just a consequence. I'm just thinking about, okay, I do want to push my heel back, and this is going to create a huge sensation of stretch right over here on your psoas muscle, on your hip flexors, all right? So hips down again, shoulders back, heels back. This is what creates the stretch. If you feel comfortable here and you want to give this exercise here, um, you want to make this exercise here a little more intense, you want to straighten your front leg a little. So what you do want to do is this, rather than staying with your front leg 90 degrees, straighten it a little like this. Now you lift your front toe, as you can see, my front, no, front toe in the standard variation is on the floor. Now I'm lifting, all right? So you lift your front toe. What you do from here is this, always, the so shoulders back, and hips down. I'm keeping my front leg bent though. This is not a front split, all right? Not yet. So, front leg bent, and from this position, I repeat the same kind of thing. I do want to press the hips down and press the back heel back. It's not important how much you can straighten your back leg. Maybe you can stop here, maybe you can stop here, maybe you can stop here, maybe you can stop here. It's little, but it's big in terms of stretch on your back leg hip flexors, all right? So you can repeat this for reps, all right? And also hold the position for longer, all right? So these two are two variations of the same exercise, the paddock stretch, which is an excellent exercise, maybe one of the most important ones to achieve your front split position. But now we wanna talk about the front split, how to get deeper into the front split. And first, like at the beginning of the video, I showed you the front split, well, I was kind of trying to get deeper, but without actually using the best strategy you can use in a front split, which is using some yoga blocks under your hips, because this is called neural relaxation. If your body knows that you can relax in a stretching position, it decreases the muscle tension, all right? So when you are in a position, the basic idea you wanna have is that you do want to relax there, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to relax in a front split. You do want to use a support. I'm using some yoga blocks. You can use whatever, all right? And you want to do something like this. So let's assume I wanna use my back leg, my right leg back, all right? So front leg straight. And now I want to sit down with my front hips or with my left hip in this case on these yoga blocks, all right? So torso upright, go down here. Front leg straight. Now the main kind of idea I do wanna have is this. I do want to push this hip down, top of the floor. 
all right? This is the main secret. Now, as I'm here, I can remain in the position. As soon as I feel comfortable, as soon as I feel heavy enough on these blocks, can you see I'm really sitting down. I'm, I'm feeling like, okay, I'm creating pressure. This is the signal you want to decrease the height of the blocks. Maybe I'm, I'm using really th thick blocks. Maybe you can use thinner blocks just to make your progress uh, kind of more gradual, slightly more gradual. Or you can use this strategy, for example, you can rather than just removing the block and going straight into the flat block, you can turn it, all right? It's that just use whatever kind of progression you feel you can relax on the blocks. This is the main idea. You do want to relax on the blocks. This is the most important thing, all right? So you go down and you repeat the progression again. When you are comfortable this, at, at this height, you turn. This requires time for sure. But one last kind of piece of advice I can give you is this. Don't stay only in a front split. I started with all the exercises, the soft stretch against the wall, the one leg standing pike, the buttock stretch. So all these exercises help you achieve the front split because the only front split, for, for example, if I go here and I got a problem, I don't know, I got my hip, my back leg hip flexors, which are really tight. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fix that problem just by going into the front with again and again and again. Of course, this is part of your progress, all right? Of course, it's part of your progress, but it shouldn't be the entire kind of thing you do. Can you see? Not too many exercises, but just a few ones that will fix your muscles flexibility, work on one leg per time, so you're gonna figure out if you got one leg stiffer than the other, and they're gonna allow you to understand what to work on specifically. So your psoas, your back leg, your front leg, etc. All right, so you want to use these exercises here to achieve the front split, and when you are in a front split, you want to use the neural relaxation to get deeper into the stress, all right? So I hope that this video is gonna help you achieve your front split. Now, a little piece of advice I can give you. If you want to work with a personalized program, right? Maybe you've been trying to achieve the front split but haven't find, haven't find the, the, the program for you, haven't found the, um, yeah, you know, the, the progression that works for you. Uh, I'm, kind of doing something which is called online coaching, all right? So I create a program for you. This is not a copy and paste program. This is not a membership where everyone does the same fucking things. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, all right? So this is a program which is for you. So we're gonna be talking live, all right? And I'm gonna share with you my methodologies and you're gonna, you're gonna tell me your time availability, your goals, your piece of equipment, your level of preparation. We're gonna figure all that out and we're gonna create a program together, all right? So if you're interested in that, check out the link um, in the description down below and we're gonna get started as soon as possible. But by the way, if you have found this, this kind of series of exercises interesting and also useful, please let me know in the comments down below. It's gonna be awesome for me to have a chat with you and just to understand if you, like you know, you like the exercises and if you've been making progress doing these exercises here. With that said, I hope that you're gonna achieve your front speed in the future. You're gonna do that, of course. Have a nice stretch and see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, if you want to improve your legs, hips, lower body flexibility in general, and you also want to master the splits, in this book you can find all the exercises you need. This is called Split Sacking, and you can find it on Amazon right now.